way with federal interest in having a diverse workplace? Yeah, I mean, it was a part of Project 2025. I mean, as we know, at least two of the people that Trump has currently selected to be in his administration. The clip we're about to watch from CNN dives into all the chatter circulating across mainstream and social media about how Project 2025 is being framed as a threat to democracy. Let's check it out together. And they are authors of Project 2025. So as many times as y'all yelled, I yelled that Project 2025 is his only plan, um, because he said, no, I know nothing about it and it's not my plan, people just believed him. Um, well, we see how that's so important to focus on OMB and Russell Va is first and foremost, this gentleman literally was the architect of Project 2025. And not only did he write the chapter for the OMB for Project 2025, it is our understanding that he was the brains behind the operation and helped to bring together the vast uh, Trump loyalists and conservative community to put that document together. Now, when I read that document, Project 2025, it reads as a transition document. And as a former OMB employee, that is clearly what it is. Uh, and so it, you know, Donald Trump spent months trying to distance himself from Project 2025 on the campaign trail. But with this nomination, it's very clear that not only was he not aware of it and had never read it and didn't know what it was, literally the architect of it is coming in in one of the most powerful positions in the White House to remake the federal government. Let's take a look at how Mike Broomhead and David Urban tackled these rising concerns during their conversation with Amy Phillip on CNN earlier today. I, 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 I want to make sure we get this in because another big appointment uh, that Trump made today was the director of the office and management and budget, which nobody knows about except that it's extremely important. And the guy who's running it is named Russ Vogt. He's done that job before. More importantly, he is the architect of Project 2025. I'm sure, Mike, you remember, they've been telling us that Project 2025 is not a thing. I, I mean, can we say now that that wasn't true? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know why it would, we would say it wasn't true. If the president-elect has said it's not going to be a part of my administration. He is bringing the guy who created but that doesn't it mean he's going to allow that person implement Into it. the role that would be responsible for implementing how, basically how the White House's policy trickles down to the rest of the entire But government. that doesn't mean that he's going to allow that person to implement that strategy. He has said before, and he was very clear, I don't know anything about it. I have nothing to do with it. So uh, to jump to the conclusion that he put this guy there maybe for the reasons he thinks he's best for the job doesn't mean that he's secretly now, because it's never going to be a secret if he does, implement 2025. I don't think it's a secret. I don't Russ think it's a secret. That's Russ Vogt is one of the most talented public servants you're going to find around. He knows. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means a lot. Every button, every lever is going to be a success at OMB. And just because he believes and certain core principles of the Republican Party, smaller government, right? Everybody, every in the Republican platform for the president, you can go back, I don't know how far, <laughs> wants to get rid of the Department of Education. Ronald Reagan did, wants to shrink the, the, the workforce. Shouldn't, shouldn't the president of the United States have a, a workforce that wants to do the same thing he does? Isn't that I, what democracy is about? I, I think that's all good and well. I'm just saying the idea that it's some kind of a terrible lie that the no, no, that but, but, Project 2025 was a <coughs> blueprint for what the second no, Trump there, there are would certain look like, pieces, that's not true. No, there are certain pieces of Project 2025 which will be implemented for sure, 100 percent. But it's not the, the president didn't take the booklet, tuck it under his arm and go scamper down to Mar-a-Lago. It is not true. I talked to the president directly about this topic and, and he said never seen it, never read it. A hundred percent. All right. Well, we, we shall see. Uh, it'll it'll be interesting what it takes for people to to believe that Project 2025 is actually part of the plan. Card. Let me know in the comments what you think about everything that happened in today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether you agree, disagree, or have a completely different perspective. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.